Whoa, what's good with you, YouTube and YouTube Buzz? It's your boy Triple Cup Chuck, and I'm up. And appreciate you for coming, rock with me, like, sharing, and subscribing. And if you have an opinion about the situation that's going on, leave a comment below. I'm gonna read it. Because when you comment, our collective minds put together, we bring synergy. This how we starting the video off? Yang game. I think Andrew Yang is making the right move about when he speak, he always referring stuff back to UBI. So the people that haven't heard of Andrew Yang will hear his flagship policy. But I'm noticing a trend. People that's a part of the Yang game, not specifically, are the people that been heard of Andrew Yang. They starting to get kind of fed up with hearing him saying UBI and they starting to feel like he's a one trick pony. So what Andrew Yang need to explain because he still have to get his flagship policy out there to the masses is for not just the people that's a part of the Yang game, but you know, for the people that heard of Andrew Yang and know about Andrew Yang and on the fence when they need to start learning about more of his policies. But he have to explain to them that his name is not known um, amongst the massive yet and he trying to um, get his name out there by using his flagship policy but he do have all these other policies that he could talk about and when I was watching the debates I'm going to come back and do another video tomorrow Be uh, stay tuned real soon for it about my thoughts on the debate but I noticed a lot of trends that a lot of the candidates is starting to take parts of Andrew Yang's swag. It's just like they grabbing him and he's the collar and then one person grabbing the ear, one person grabbing the tail, one person grabbing the leg, but they still grabbing the whole collar and that's Andrew Yang. And what I'm noticing and what I'm noticing about this is like when I was looking at Cory Booker, the like his whole demeanor, like he trying to be like the peacemaker and say the things that he he's saying is the stuff Andrew Yang said from the heart. And like the uh, um the debate the time before that when um there was speaking and un well, it was like the first one Andrew Yang said man we shouldn't be doing all this him he was speaking from the heart then the following debate you seen somebody had it kind of like rehearsed like they wanted to steal the line and steal the thunder pay close attention that they saying Andrew Yang is a non-factor when I was watching the debate show but at the same time they taking all of his uh, points and they trying to take them they using them on their perspective and they have and they trying to make it like that is their own and for that being said i got this video that came off of the view amazing video that just happened and it's not from whoopi goldberg this is a special guest that's on a i was a big fan you know what I'm saying? I'm showing my geekness with of the original Charm, and she was a part of that. And I used to watch this show all the time. Sorry, I watched Charm. I was one of those people. I don't watch the new Charm, but the original Charm, I used to watch it faithfully. Well, anyway, though, check out the video. Hope you enjoy. And Yang Game 2020, let's get it. Real party. So one of my dear close friends is like hashtag king of the Yang Yang. Hi Ty. Mm -hmm. And he literally <laughs> wanted me to ask you. He was like, Oh, I think she likes Yang. When he I asked love me, he was him. On, can you tell me why? I can hashtag actually. Math. <laughs> well, yes. I think um, I think he has first of all changed the narrative. We were talking about things in that debate last night that are specifically because Andrew Yang has brought that up. Um, I like the fact that he says, talking about his freedom dividend, that he says, look, all of these tech companies are actually mining our data for free. We're giving up every single search, every phone call we make, every purchase, we are giving up our data and we're getting nothing in return. Uh -huh. So the freedom dividend, if we look at it like that, like we're actually getting paid for them mining our data. Yeah. I think it's really, really smart. It lifts people out of poverty. The poverty level is $12,000 in this country a year. So if you're giving people $1,000 a month, that's $12,000 more. So that's $24,000 a year, which I think is great. And it's changing the conversation. And I think that's really important. So I'm not officially Yang Gang, but I'm like, yeah, you know, Jason, Jason, Jason. Yeah, Jason. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Yang Gang adjacent. Does he 